Hi, my name is Sharon Polsky and I am a health and wellness coach from Southern California. And this class is part of our program called The Playbook. And this is our first back and biceps workout. Strength training is an integral part of weight loss. And this is a strength training class that concentrates on your back and your bicep muscles. I utilize the superset method because then you don't have to take as many breaks and it's a far more effective workout. You're gonna do four supersets and you're gonna do three sets of every exercise, eight, 10, or 12 reps. I'll demo that for you along the way. And then these guys will show you all different levels of those exercises. So let's get started. You guys are gonna grab your weights and we are gonna start with our bent over rows. You're gonna grab two weights, telescope the spine forward, keeping the weights close to you. You're gonna pull and squeeze and drop it down. They have a lot of different choices of how they stand. They can stagger their feet, they can keep their feet hips width apart. Most importantly is the knees will be bent. They're gonna give me eight, 10, or 12 repetitions of those bent over rows. It's important to keep the chest lifted, the eyes are working out straight ahead. Once they're done with those, they'll transition into thumbs up bicep curls. With your thumbs up bicep curls, you can either come straight up, straight down. You can also alternate one at a time. You can also mix it up. You don't want to twist. That's going to be a different exercise. This one is a straight thumbs up bicep curl. When they are done with their 8, 10, 12 reps, they're going to drop right back down and they're going to pull, working on that back. When you pull, you want to squeeze the shoulder blades together each and every time. As you squeeze, you hold and you release. Every time you release the weights back down towards the floor, you're resisting against gravity. They transition straight into those bicep curls. Remember, this is going to be their second round of this exercise. Then they're going to have a third round of this exercise. The reason why I like this way of training is it is super efficient. They don't have to take a one minute break between sets. They can just keep powering through, exercise to exercise. This is gonna be their third round of this back exercise. They'll transition into their third round of that bicep exercise. And again, if you're really efficient and athletic like Morgan, she might carry a little bit faster cadence as long as she is keeping good quality form. That's all that matters. When they're done with these, they're gonna transition into their single arm rows. They can either use the bench or use the leg. They can bend the knee. They can even come all the way down to the floor like Morgan is. They're gonna squeeze that shoulder blade right back down. However many reps you do on one side, you must do on the other. So if you choose to only do six, which might be because you're using heavier weight that day, that's great. Do six on one side, then six on the other. Make sure you're always stabilizing through the abdominals and that core area. When they're finished with that, they're gonna jump right up. They're gonna grab their weights. This time they're gonna give me bicep curls with a full rotation. They're gonna rotate the arm up, pinky towards the shoulder, and then bring it all the way down next to their sides. Again, eight, 10, or 12 reps, whatever appropriate for them. Now, this I find really cool. They're using the same size dumbbells for bicep curls that they're using for back. Theoretically, their back may be stronger than their biceps, so they may be getting 12 reps out of that row with the arm and be doing eight reps with that same weight of bicep curls or deciding to do those transitions of alternating those bicep curls. You always want to concentrate on the muscle that you are working. So if you're working on your back, I want you to squeeze through those back muscles. If you're working on your biceps, you're going to squeeze through those biceps. You really want to get your brain involved in your exercise each and every time. This workout is so efficient. It's going to take you about 25 minutes to get through the workout which is a great way to start your day. You can also do these exercises pretty much anywhere. I like doing them in hotels. I travel a lot for work. So if I can go and utilize these exercises when I travel, it makes it great. A lot of gyms and hotels have really limited equipment. 
Honestly, all I need is a set of dumbbells and I can get this done. Or maybe in my home gym at home, that's what I use. It just is such an easy way to work training into your daily routine. Whether you do it before the kids wake up, whether you do it on your lunch break from work, or whether you do it right when you get home. This is their third round. They're going right into their last set of bicep curls. Eight, 10, or 12 reps. And they can be using both hands, be in the middle of a set and just get tired for the last two, and then go alternate just for two of them. That's gonna help them get through the entire workout. When they're done with this, they're actually gonna transition to laying down. Morgan's gonna show you the laying down version, laying on the floor. She's gonna use a kettlebell. You can use a kettlebell, you can use any type of exercise. The arms are straight above you. You're gonna reach them all the way back. As you reach the arms back, don't let your rib cage come up. I want you to pull the rib cage in and then you bring the arms forward. We call these pullovers. Laying it down, eight, 10 or 12 pullovers, go. Pete's using the dumbbell. Bill's using his kettlebell version of it. I really like pullovers for my lat exercises. By you having that dy dynamic pull forward and the release open, you're also working on mobility at the same time that you're working on strength. It's a really efficient way to integrate that. They're gonna jump back up, they're gonna grab their dumbbells, and this time they're gonna turn their palms up. Up and down, they can also alternate each and every time if that feels good for them. It really depends on how much weight you're carrying. Now ladies, I really want you to push maximum weight. If you've been using a five pound weight all this time, that's okay, it's great that you've been training, but at some point we gotta move past that. I want you to pick up a set of eights. Even if you can only do a couple of reps with eights, let's start working towards that. You're not gonna get bulky, I promise you. We really just don't have the genetics for that, the genetic makeup for getting bulky. I know that we think we're gonna get bulky when we lift weights, but we won't. Do you wanna know what the secret is? If you lift weights and you lift heavy weights, you're gonna burn more body fat and your metabolism is gonna be so much stronger. So for me, I just think that's what's most important about lifting weights for women. So you don't have to put down the big weights and only pick up the little weights. I want you to experiment. What's really great about working out at home or in a video series, especially on a platform like udaya.com, is that you can experiment. There's nobody watching you. If you mess up when you have 10 pounds, then you grab an eight pound, it doesn't really matter. So really go through and experiment in an environment that's really safe. We're gonna lead you through the workouts, but you're in private. Maybe just you and your husband or your best friend or uh, two buddies hanging out and getting through the workout. This is their third round of pullovers. They're gonna jump right back up and they're gonna do their last round of bicep curls. This is our third superset. What's really cool about the playbook is the playbook was built on fours. There's just four supersets in every single exercise. So I just want you guys to get as efficient as possible. Get the most out of your workouts each and every time. When they are done with that, we're gonna transition into our last set of supersets. Bill's gonna take a seat, he's gonna rest the chest on top of the legs and he's gonna open. We call these flies. Morgan's gonna show you a standing version with one foot in front, one foot behind, and Pete's gonna pick his levels, whatever he wants to do. You're pulling them out and you're bringing them in. The chest is open and it is wide. Try not to jerk those weights and resist against gravity on the way down. When they're done with that last set, they're gonna take the hands in front of you, the palms face up, the elbows are in close, but the elbows are slightly in front of you. Bicep curls come straight up and straight down. If you're in a major gym, they have something called the W bar. Those W bars are really great for this because it takes the load out of your wrists, but this is gonna be your close grip. It's gonna be your palms up, 
And again, you can alternate. So ladies, grab eight pounds and alternate. Yes, I understand it ends up only being four reps on each arm, but you're gonna get stronger and stronger and stronger that way. And that's the way you're gonna burn the most body fat, you're gonna get stronger, and you're gonna get a lot more confident. They're gonna transition between those two exercises. This is their last set. Whenever you weight train, I want you to leave your ego at the door. If you start getting tired, drop down and wait. If you need to sit on a bench, that's okay as well. You need to find what is right for you. I am just gonna give you the tools. I'm a coach that gives you tools and it's your toolbox. You use the tools you need that day. This is gonna be their last round. Great job, Pete. So you can see four groups of exercises, super set between your back and your biceps, really efficient way to train, less than 25 minutes every single day. You are gonna burn more body fat. You're gonna become more confident because you're a lot stronger. This is the playbook, and that was back and biceps exercise number one.